I've been button heads with the fuzz lately. I've been button heads with the fuzz. <laughs> Nothing too serious. Yeah, me out. I might have burgled an escape room. <laughs> My thinking was, people are so busy trying to break out of them. <laughs> Nobody would expect me to break into them. <laughs> but what I didn't consider was, when I got in, how hard it'd be getting back out. <laughs> Coming up to the first door, there were just puzzles and brain teasers and riddles everywhere. Hey, the wet bandits thing, they had it rough. Oh, a nail through the foot and a shovel to the head. Never mind Kevin McAllister. Try being outsmarted by a fucking who am I riddle? <laughs> Humiliating, man. I started panicking the thought. I suppose I'm gonna have to have me sell at the police. <laughs> so I rang up and said, help, I'm, I'm stuck in a ski room. <laughs> and he said, Shum, I don't think that's a police matter. <laughs> I think you're getting a little bit too into the game. <laughs> and then now I'm coming, you don't understand. I'm burgling it. <laughs> he said, right, I'm hanging up now. This is bloody ridiculous. You're far too into this. And put the phone down before I can say anything. So I had to spend the night in this escape room. <laughs> and I end up getting arrested in the morning, but not for breaking in. What happened was, this family of four came in to do the escape room <laughs> and I heard them. A swat had played dead in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> the dad thought I was a mannequin. <laughs> he thought it was part of the game, so he started patting us down for clues. <laughs> he put his finger in my nose and in my ear and like, checking under my tash and like sniffing us and that. And then he's trying to make his kids laugh. He went, hey, check this out. And he started pretending to do CPR on us. <laughs> he was doing the CPR song. The CPR song. <laughs> ah, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Ah, 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 staying alive. And I'm lying down thinking, Fuck it. <laughs> I can't take this anymore and I sprang up and diddly did. Diddly. <laughs> and then he went into cardiac arrest. <laughs> so I had to finish the CPR. <laughs> Tuned in hours of community service I got for that. <laughs> a little bit harsh if you ask me. You're not like, so who gives a fuck? <laughs> I was actually at community service today. Spent four hours in the local park, scraping chewing gum off a seesaw. <laughs> Facts lost <laughs> us. <laughs> get trapped, man. <laughs> and I got talking to this bloke called Rufus. And he was telling us what he got done for. He said, to tell you the truth, there'd be a dragon. You know, because that's my nickname, community service. He said, to tell you the truth, there'd be a dragon. I got done for perverting the course of justice. I said, oh, aye. He said, aye. He made answers the phone to the police. And I thought it'd be funny to pick up one of the calls. So I did. But it was this bloke turned himself in for breaking into an escape room. <laughs> I didn't know what to do, so I panicked and just put on this Yorkshire accent and hold it. <laughs> hey, I didn't have the heart to tell him. I just looked at him like that. And then when he asked me what I got done for, I got all defensive and I was like, Rufus, my run-ins with the law are none of your fucking business. <laughs> and then, well, I told you, and I was like, yeah, well, that was your own stupid fault. <laughs> and then we just sat there in silence for ages. <laughs> and normally that would be all right. <laughs> But the date was especially awkward because we're sitting on either end of a seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't know if you've ever fallen out with someone while sitting on a seesaw. But let me tell you, don't fucking do it. Especially if you're lighter than the other person. So you're just in mid-air the whole time, you can't storm off. I can't fucking believe it. You start getting really competitive on this seesaw, like, like pressing down with all these might arsehole across the floor. And I'm five foot in the air, like, what the fuck are you doing? So I'm looking down at him, and he's looking up at me. I suppose I'm looking down at him again, aren't I? <laughs> and none of us had set out for about 45 minutes by this point. And I just looked him dead in the eyes and leant in and said, I think you're getting a little bit too into the game. <laughs> <laughs> Very much a